with St. Patrick's Day coming, I really wanted to show you how I was going to utilize my Instant Pot to cook my corned beef to make it a little bit faster. And uh, so what I have here is some corned beef. I'm just going to open my Instant Pot. I'm going to take out the rack. Put your pieces of corned beef right in there. Some onion. And some carrots. All rough chopped. Some wedges of cabbage. A little seasoning packet comes with it. Squeeze all that right in there. Fill with water. Just until you can see water come right to beneath the pressure cooking max line. Don't forget some potatoes. All right. All right, so once you have everything in there, just put on the lid. Up here, it's in the ceiling position up here. Okay, pressure cook. And I'm going to do a 32 minute pressure cooking cycle. And see how tender that gets. The okay, so it looks like we're just about done with our pressure cooking cycle. And what I'm going to do after this is done is I'm just going to let it sit. I'm not going to move this. Oh, it's done right now. Leave it in the ceiling position uh, for about five minutes. And then I'm going to move this over to the venting position. But what I want to do is let the pressure decrease naturally for a little bit before I try and vent it. I don't want any of the juice to come out. If there's a lot of pressure built up, and there is, some of the liquid can come out of this little hole right here if you try and vent it too early. Okay, so I feel like it's safe enough to go ahead and just move this just a little bit to the side just to let the pressure start to release itself nice and easy. Mm. Looks good. Oh, that's a good so sign. The easiest way I found to plate your corned beef is just to take pieces of meat out then with a spoon okay so we are going to slice against the grain put this on too and then to make it really pop because this is kind of bland just now i take a little bit of dried parsley that's a nice bright green just sprinkle it over and this is a nice little trick to make everything look a little bit brighter and then because this does need a little bit of salt I always wait until the end to salt corned beef because it's such a salty brine you really need to just wait and see if you even need salt at all sometimes you don't but I do so I'm going to put a little bit of this nice coarse salt right over top a nice corned beef dinner and I can't wait to give it a try